Welcome back. Let's head back to meteorologist Cedric Haynes, who is currently at Valley Point Middle School in Whitfield County. And Cedric is surrounded by some of those great students out there, you know, and it got off to a chilly but start, but the sun is shining. Cedric, tell us about what's going on down there. Well, Latrice, you're right. It definitely was on the cold side this morning. Many areas dropping down into the 30s to start off the day, but it has re rebounded quite nicely. The sun is out now, and yeah, it's not a bad day. Right, guys? Is it pretty good out here? Yeah! Yeah, it's a pretty good day here. We are live here at Valley Point Middle School here in Whitfield County. And I'll tell you what, it's just been a great morning. We've been talking all about weather, weather patterns. We've been talking about what causes different weather patterns, and uh, we've also had a chance to really talk about uh, really not only what causes different weather patterns, but how weather patterns all around us affect what we can see. So it's been a great time here and the students have been great as well. And we're going to hear um, from those students as well coming up here in just a few moments. But first, uh, we've got to talk about here what's been going on with our weather forecast, because obviously, as we mentioned there, it's been a little on the cool side here and we're going to do that here. But uh, while we're here, let's actually go ahead on and show you that sunshine that we have out there across the area here with uh, some of our students here. But let's talk. Uh, come on over here, guys. I want to interview you guys real quick here. And just first off, tell us uh, what's your name? Uh, Tucker. All right, Tucker. So, Tucker, what grade are you in? Uh, six. Sixth grade. All right, Tucker. So, here we go. Tell tell us a little bit about um, just uh, what was your favorite thing about this morning? Uh, just learning about all the new things about weather. So. Okay. Now, now, when you learn something, what, what is one thing that you learned that you said you'll remember going forward with the weather? That it'll be cool in the morning, so it'll get hotter in the afternoon. All right. So, he knows the forecast for today. So, I guess I can go ahead on and go home. That's good, though. I'm going to go to lunch real quick, come back. I'll let you handle it there. But uh, I see you're also a part of the football team, right? Yes, sir. All right. So, what's your favorite part about football? Uh, just throwing the ball, getting touchdowns. Winning. All right. Okay. Now, what position do you play? Quarterback. Oh, qu oh, oh, quarterback. The quarterback. Okay. Okay. What's that? One, tw one two. Number two. One, two. All right. So, tell us what's your name and uh, what grade are you in? Isaac, and I'm in sixth grade. All right then, Isaac. So uh, tell us, we talked a lot about different weather patterns and different things going on. Tell me a little bit about uh, what was your favorite thing that you learned today? Well, you taught us a lot about the different types of precipitation, and that was really interesting. Okay. There was a lot of stuff I didn't know. Okay, now, out of that, now here's the quiz. What was one thing that you did learn that was new that you didn't know? Well, the freezing rain, I didn't know about that. I had always thought that hail was a big part of the of precipitation so uh, okay that's good that's right you'd be surprised to know a lot of people think hail is a part of precipitation but it doesn't actually form in the clouds and fall it actually forms in a different way outside of the actual clouds so that's why it's not a precipitation type but that's good now uh, for folks that are home that are watching uh, can you help them out with the forecast let's say they're trying to plan something for the weekend based upon what you learned with the weather patterns today what do you think the weather is looking like for the weekend well, based on what I learned, I think over the weekend it's going to be a lot warmer than it was over the week, and I think it's going to be a lot more humid in the weekend, during the weekend. So, Well, listen to that. I mean, I mean, I don't even need to do the forecast right now. He's taking good care of it. Both of these guys, they already know what's going on. But still, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the forecast just because uh, that's why we, we, we're on the air right now talking to you. So let's talk a look at that weather right now. So look at what's going on here on the big picture. You'll be able to see here the weather pattern is looking pretty good now. And uh uh, as you can see, that weather should stick around looking pretty good over the next couple of days here. In fact, the radar is showing us some uh, pretty nice looking conditions out there across the area. And so that will continue across the region. Let's take a look at what's going on here in terms of what we've got on the satellite picture. You'll be able to see here that we're looking at some pretty good weather conditions that will continue across the area here with that satellite picture. Those clouds off to the north and east, we're looking good there. As you look at the big picture, you can see high pressure, the big blue H. That's our friend. Sunshine, a northwesterly flow, but it is us in cooler conditions so temperatures are in the upper 40s and 50s across the area so it will stay on the cool side today highs below normal again upper 50s to lower 60s but still not bad if you're out in the direct sunlight it's when the sun goes down but look at the humidity levels start to creep up as we get towards the weekend along with the temperatures highs will be in the 80s and look at the humidity getting close to that humid range so it is something that you'll notice your storm alert seven day forecast 63 today but how about lower 70s Wednesday we'll be in the upper 70s as we get towards your Thursday and as you can see here we're going to be looking at those conditions staying a little on the warmer side as we get towards the middle of the week and that is something that we can enjoy out there so overall it's been a great day we've got here with Valley Point Middle School students guys make a little noise for us and we'll come back we'll talk to some more students we've got a very special segment here coming up for you in just a few moments but for now we'll send it back to you Latrice thank you so much Cedric we'll look forward to that